God wants us to depend on His strength, not our own. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. No one could have mistaken the ancient Babylonian soldiers for gentlemen. They were ruthless, resilient, and vicious, and they attacked other nations the way an eagle overtakes its prey. Not only were they powerful, they were prideful as well. They practically worshipped their own combat abilities. In fact, the Bible says in Habakkuk 1.11 that their strength was their God. We read in Judges 7, God did not want this kind of self-reliance to infect Israel's forces as they prepared to battle the Midianites. So he told Gideon, Israel's army commander, You have too many men. I cannot deliver Midian into their hands, or Israel would boast against me. My own strength has saved me. As a result, Gideon discharged anyone who was fearful. 22,000 men hightailed at home, while 10,000 fighters stayed. God continued to downsize the army until only 300 men remained. Having fewer troops meant that Israel was dramatically outnumbered. Their enemies, who populated a nearby valley, were as thick as locusts. Despite this, God gave Gideon's forces victory. At times, God may allow our resources to dwindle so that we rely on His strength to keep going. Our needs showcase His power, but He is the one who says in Isaiah 41.10, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Judges chapter 7, verses 1 through 8. Early in the morning, Jerubbaal, that is Gideon, and all his men camped at the spring of Herod. The camp of Midian was north of them in the valley near the hill of Morah. The Lord said to Gideon, You have too many men. I cannot deliver Midian into their hands, or Israel would boast against me. My own strength has saved me. Now announce to the army, Anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead. So twenty-two thousand men left, while ten thousand remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, There are still too many men. Take them down to the water, and I will thin them out for you there. If I say, This one shall go with you, he shall go. But if I say, This one shall not go with you, he shall not go. So Gideon took the men down to the water. There the Lord told him, Separate those who lap the water with their tongues as a dog laps from those who kneel down to drink. Three hundred of them drank from cupped hands, lapping like dogs. All the rest got down on their knees to drink. The Lord said to Gideon, With the three hundred men that lapped, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all the others go home. So Gideon sent the rest of the Israelites home, but kept the three hundred who took over the provisions and trumpets of the others. Now the camp of Midian lay below him in the valley. That's today's scripture reading from Judges chapter 7, verses 1 through 8. And now let's pray. Dear God, we're thankful for your strength. You carry us when we are weak. Help us to give you the credit for every victory in life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.